Hi! In this video, I'm going to show you how to add an additional user to your MailChimp account. This is great if you need to add an agency that you're working with for your email newsletters or marketing automation, or an employee who's also going to be helping you with one of those things. My name's Travis of WebWorks of Kansas City. Uh, follow along with the conversation on social media, WebWorkinIt, use that hashtag, or WebWorks of KC on all the social medias. Also, feel free to subscribe and click that bell to make sure you get notifications when we have new videos. Uh, if you need help creating that new MailChimp account, uh, we've got a link down below to our previous video. So let's get started adding that new user to your MailChimp account. Let's go. All right, so uh, to get started adding that new user, first, of course, we gotta log into MailChimp at MailChimp.com, and we're gonna log in and just enter your username and password to log in. And so now we're logged in. Um, we haven't created any campaigns or anything like that on this account yet, um, so there's nothing to look at here. Uh, but we're just going to go into our account, and we're going to go to settings, and we're going to go to users, and now we are going to invite a user to manage this account. Very simply, we're just going to enter an email address. I'm going to enter my WebWorks of KC email address. And uh, so if you're adding somebody who's going to be managing a lot of this account, uh, you want to give them a kind of full access. But if you're adding this for an agency, make sure that you have a proper agreement in place. Um, if you're adding an employee, make sure that they have a you know, very clear understanding of what's expected for them while they're in your account. Um, but for this purpose, we're just using this as an example of you're just getting started with MailChimp. So I'm going to give uh, this person admin access uh, so they can do everything they need with the account to get it set up with a DNS records, creating lists, campaigns, adding other users, etc. Um, so that's why I'm going to give them admin access at this point. So uh, and then you can click a or cre you can create a little message here about why you're adding them to the account. So we've just added a simple message and we're going to send the invitation. And now that you've invited this user to your account, they're going to get a confirmation email. So let's go take a look at that. And here we are. We can see that this email was sent to Travis at WebWorks of KC and we've invite, been invited to join a MailChimp account. So we've been invited to join the Kansas City Dog Club. And here's our little message that we sent. And we're going to join this account. And now I'm going to log in with uh, my login that I already have. So that... Log in and join. And now I am logged in as my bit with my business account to the Kansas City Dog Club. And so as this new user, here's kind of what they're going to see. If they're on multiple accounts, they may have the option to switch account, which is great. I've got a couple different ones here. Um, so that's all you need to do to add a new user to your MailChimp account. All right. I hope that little walkthrough tutorial really helped you. It's a pretty simple process. Um, again, we've linked below to the video for creating a new MailChimp account if you need it. Uh, also, make sure that you subscribe. I always get this wrong. It's right over here. Subscribe. Um, and I'll click on that bell to make sure you get notifications of our new videos. Uh, let us know in the comments below. What are you hoping for just now starting out with your email newsletters? See you next time.